Hi guys, welcome to Empower and my name is Caroline Porotamas. Thank you so much as usual for watching my YouTube channel and this is Motivation Monday. So in this video I'm going to tell you about how to deal with criticism. So criticism can be sometimes extremely difficult to take because as nurses we work so hard and we try so hard that when we do get criticized for our hard work it can really emotionally you know affect us at a deep level. So here are a few steps on how I deal with criticism in a way that helps me and doesn't make anything worse. So let me just give you an example. One day I was taking care of a patient and honestly, this was the last patient that I was going to see. So I was a little bit late with her medications. I had seven patients that day with no nursing assistant. Um, although of course I had seen the patient earlier, but it had been some time since I had been to the room. By the time I got to the room, she just wanted to talk to my manager. So I had to go to my manager and explain that my patient was upset. I wasn't exactly sure why, but if she could come and we could go talk to the patient together. So the chargers went, we went together and we talked to the patient and she had a list of things that I did wrong. First, she said I was wearing perfume, which I don't think I was wearing perfume that day, but maybe it was like the soap that I used. She said it was like bothering her allergies. Then she said I didn't offer to help her to the bathroom, but I had just been in there and report and so I just didn't think to offer her to the bathroom. Then she said that I had a rude look on my face which if anybody's seen me in the morning I don't know like I'm not really a super morning person although like I kind of am like I like to wake up in the morning but I don't like to be around people in the morning. <laughs> it takes me like a little while to like to adjust. So um, it could have been, you know? And the third thing and the final thing was that I had taken so long to get there and I was late with her medications, which I already knew. So here's how I dealt with the situation. Number one, as she's listing these things, which she had written down, by the way, <laughs> I'm taking some deep breaths in. So I'm helping my body, you know, oxygenate and by breathing deep diaphragmic breaths, it's helping your body relax and it's helping you just like not lash out. <laughs> The other thing that I'm doing is I'm in receptive mode. I know like me physiological, like I'm a human being, so it's natural for me to want to fight back. And that's just like part of our um, amygdala that's in our brain. Like that's just what it does. It's always thinking about fight or flight. And in this case, since I'm being attacked, it's thinking about fight. So I'm calming my amygdala down. I'm just like relaxing. I'm accepting what she says. Another like really strange tip that helps is if I get into a body posture that's not aggressive. So an aggressive posture would be something like this, or like that, or or like uh, just something that looks angry. So I got myself into like a receptive posture, which was kind of more like leaning to a side. I know it sounds crazy and you're like, that doesn't, ma yes, it matters. Trust me, trust me on this, okay? It does matter. So get into a receptive body posture, take deep breaths, listen, and then when she's done speaking, at this point, it's not really about who's right and who's wrong. See, that's where a lot of people make the mistake. It's not about being right. It's not about being wrong. It's about the perception. And so at this point, this patient's perception of the care I've given, it was not up to what she thinks is an acceptable level of care. And so at this point, my main purpose is to apologize for that and try to make up for lost time. <laughs> so that's pretty much how I deal with it. Um, I also like to think of these types of experiences as opportunities opportunities and I know that that might seem strange but you know being in nursing and being in healthcare and having a lot at stake it's really a actually a pretty good opportunity for my manager or my charge nurse to see me interact with the patient when they're complaining about me. This is an opportunity for me to rise above the situation and dissolve it and make it better. So again, I view this as an opportunity. I apologize immediately. I ask what I can do like right then and there. And I try to as best as I can to make the situation better. Most of the time, this works. Usually the patient just wanted to be, you know, heard, wanted to make sure that the rest of the day goes smoothly, and that's it. So I think by having this outlook on criticism as a potential opportunity helps me not get upset if something happens because ultimately we're busy guys. Like things can happen every day. I always like have the attitude, we're not gonna win them all, but most of them we can. So all right guys, I hope this tip for Motivation Monday helped you out a lot, and I cannot wait to see you next Monday. I will see you then.
Bye. Let's stay connected, guys. No matter where you are in the world, join me here every Monday at 6:30 a.m. Eastern Time for the weekly nursing pre-huddle before your regular huddle. This will help you start your week off on the right note. Also, get email notifications as soon as the videos are published. By joining my email list, you will receive 25% discount on my best-selling books. The first book, How to Succeed in Nursing School, has been called the best nursing school preparation guide for thousands of students just like you. Many say it's a must-read before entering nursing school. In this book, I share how I went from a very average student to graduating nursing school with honors. It also includes tips on how to choose your nursing school, how to be successful in nursing school, and how to stay motivated and driven while in nursing school. The second book, New Nurse, How to Get, Keep, and Love Your Nursing Job, is an outstanding book to help nurses start their careers on the right foot or rekindle their love for nursing. We all join this profession for altruistic reasons, but sometimes the stress of the job has us beaten down. This book, I promise, will help you reignite your love for the amazing work you do. And finally, by joining, you will also have access to a 40% discount for my How to Study for Anatomy and Physiology program. In this program, I share how I went from a C average student to two semesters later was on the dean's list. I've shared these tips with thousands of other students and they have phenomenal results. Click here for information on how to join my email list. And oh yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel also. I'll see you guys next week. Love you. Bye.